Hi, in this video we're going to introduce arrays. So why do we need arrays? So let's say you want to keep track of exam scores in your class. And the scores are numbers from 0 to 100. So you start off like this. In score 1, in score 2, in score 3. And at first that doesn't seem so bad as a way to keep track of the scores. But what if you had 100 students? Then you'd need 100 different variables. And it'd be really easy to mess up or make a mistake or miss one. So there must be a better way. Indeed, there is a better way, so let's introduce arrays. Arrays store a fixed number of elements of the same type. So what is an array? Arrays store a fixed number of elements of the same type. So here we have an int array storing scores. A simple way to think about an array is that an array is just a list. It may be a list of ints or a list of strings or a list of anything you want. Here it is a list of exam scores. So simply, an array is a list. So remember the definition, arrays store a fixed number of elements of the same type. Here I've added a new blue row of numbers. And we can see that the black numbers represent the elements or the individual values in the array. And the blue numbers represent the indices or what position we are at in the array. So we start at zero, go up to four. So how do we make an array? Well, if you want to make an array, a new integer array with five spots, you say int array scores equals new int, open square bracket, uh, then five, and then close square bracket. And so there's some new syntax here. Uh, the, the syntax that you need to use arrays is those square brackets. So int, open square bracket, close square bracket, that is the type of an array. And then on the right side of the expression, in between those square brackets, you're writing how many spots you want in the array. So this creates an array with five spots and defaults all the values uh, since they're integers to zero. So you can also make an array with an initializer list which sets the initial values. So here we can say int array scores and then uh, in between curly brackets we'll write the element values separated by commas. So making an array of any type, the general form is that you write type open square bracket, close square bracket, the name of the array equals new, and then the type name, and then in between square brackets, the number of elements in the array. So the next thing you want to learn about is indexing into an array. And if you want to get a value out of an array, you can index into the array. That's what it's called to access a value at a spot. So if we have our scores array, then we say something like int value equals scores at two, we can see that value now gets the number 91. So two refers to the index, index two. It's the third position because we start at zero. So that's why we're showing the indices here is because it's important to remember that the arrays start at zero. So if we wanna set or get a value at an index, to get a value, we, we do that like we did before. We say int value equals scores at the index, which gives value now 91. And to set a value, we would say scores, and then of the index, equals and the new value. So we're saying scores of at index three gets the value 72. And you can see when we go through that code, now in our array, index three has the value 72. So I've mentioned this before, but it's a really key point. Arrays start at index zero. Arrays start at index zero, not one. This is a source of a lot of bugs, so be careful. So remember, this array has five elements, starts at index zero, and goes up to index four. If we want to get the array length, the way we can do that is with a property on the array called length. So we'd say int length equals scores dot length, and that will get the value five. So remember, there's five elements, but the first is zero and the last is four. So here's a, a trick, um, a convenient way to get the last index of the array. It's always last index equals array.length minus one because arrays are zero indexed. Additionally, arrays in Java are objects, not primitives. This means when you pass an array in as a method, as a parameter, you get the actual object, not a copy. So let's go explore all this in our editor. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make an array. So we'll say int array 
ARR equals, and then we'll use the initializer list. So we'll say one, one, <clears throat> two, three, five, uh, eight. And then what we'll do is we'll print out some values in that array. So we'll say system.out.println ARR of zero. And then we'll also print out ARR of one. And then system.out.println ARR of two. And let's print out ARR of three. So this shows an example of creating an array and then printing out the values by accessing the elements at different indices. Next, we'll look at making an empty array. So we'll make um, an int array called ARR, and we'll say it's new int array with five spots. And what we'll do is we'll just print out um, the value at ARR of zero. So we haven't actually set any of the values yet, so what we can see is the default value. So we'll also print it out at ARR of three. So you can see that when we run this, we'll get the value zero. Because when we make an array like this and don't set the initial values, uh, the defaults are zero. And say, what if we did this for strings? Let's say we had a string array called strings. And we say, it's a new string array with four spots. And then we'll print out strings of zero. What do you think we'll print? Well, we'll run this. And it prints out null. So for objects, the default value in arrays is null. Okay, so here we'll look at one more example of indexing into an array. So we'll make a new integer array with 10 spots. And then we'll set the value at index one. Okay, so now index one gets the value four. Now let's print out that value. So we'll print out AR of one. Let's try that. Great, so it does what we think. Now let's try setting some more. So we'll say AR of two equals 10 and AR of three equals negative 12. So we'll print out AR of two. And you can see that we print that out and we get 10. So this is a little bit of the basics of creating arrays and getting and setting the values by indexing into an array.